guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is daniel rosal here i've done a few videos recently regarding uh using youtube to improve my vocabulary in a language i'm learning specifically i'm learning modern hebrew and my native language is english so i was using auto translation to automatically translate video captions in hebrew into english because there's just a lot more content um that has Hebrew captions than content in original Hebrew audio that has English captions. Now, just to kind of uh, broaden this out a little bit from my context, I'm gonna refer in future videos, uh, not to my specific language learning approach. I'm gonna be talking about target language and native language so that this information is applicable to really just about anyone learning a language. So TL and NL are common abbreviations. Now that works really well, what I showed in my last uh, video, how to turn on auto-translated cap captions but what you can do to kind of get to the next step is use dual subtitles. Now there's a few different extensions in the Chrome Web Store, but this is the one that I found is called dual subtitles. Uh, so what you want to do is add it to your Google Chrome. Now this is obviously specifically regarding Chrome. I'm sure for Firefox, you'll find other uh, dual subtitle apps or browser extensions, but they do tend to be streaming platform specific. So that it's, if you can find one, just by searching for dual subtitle, try YouTube dual subtitles. So I've added this to my uh, Chrome here. And the next thing that I did was that I added it here. I pinned it um, into my area. And what you can do is click on the extensions thing and just pin it and then drag it over. That way it's always gonna be uh, easy to access. So I explained in the last video, I built out this playlist called Hebrew with Hebrew subtitles. And I just gathered up a bunch of videos on YouTube that have dual subtitles. So if you take a look at what's available here, I can click on the subtitle or closed caption button. And now we're actually getting dual subtitles. You can see at the bottom there is Hebrew and on the top there is English. And that's happening automatically when I click on the cogwheel. I'm actually able to download the subtitles, the original Hebrew, as well as auto translator, which is a pretty useful feature. And I've set my default subtitle language to English. I can also force back in a single subtitle. So I'm just getting the auto automatic translated subtitles, but I'm gonna leave on the dual subtitles because this is a whole reason I added this app. Now let's take off the app for a second. And that way we're going to see what the, how YouTube usually looks. So I'm going to disable dual subtitles, come back to my video, refresh the video. And now we can see we just have Hebrew as a subtitle. And if I go into settings, captions, we've, we've lost all those additional options. Now I can do auto translate English to get my English subtitles, like I explained in my last video, but there's no way to get the two together. So again, if I go, go back to my extensions, I'm going to enable YouTube dual subtitles again, refresh the video again. And now I've got my dual subtitles going. I have my native language on top and the original uh, subtitle below. So now someone, uh, I posted this discovery on the language learner subreddit and people were asking, well, how do you like actually use this methodology? So I just want to finish by explaining this. So what I'll do is I'll firstly listen to the dialogue and my Hebrew is getting better and it's already, it was already kind of intermediate when I started. So usually I'll just get it, but sometimes there's a word I don't understand. So in the first instance, I'll probably look at the English version and then I can generally might recognize the word, but if I don't recognize the word in the Hebrew, I can glance down at the uh, original subtitle. Now the useful thing, of course, is let's say you're, I'm just gonna skip ahead in this video a little bit. And if there's a word you haven't encountered before, before, let's say Svarim, which means books in Hebrew, you can just pause the video and you'll have the translated word. You have the original word, the translated word, and you can just jot that down in a, you know, a notebook or a Google document or whatever you're using. So this is how to get dual subtitles running on YouTube. Uh, just to summarize again, I simply installed this Chrome extension called YouTube dual subtitles. It's featured, there's more than 100,000 people using it, which gives me a lot of confidence. It is quite good. And it has a website called dualsubtitles.com if you're looking for uh, information about, uh, you know, all the functionalities here. And it looks like this, this particular uh, one is also available for Microsoft Edge as well as Chrome. Hope that video is useful. Thank you guys for watching.